Rats, for centuries seen as the scourge of society, harbinger of disease, a pest to be got rid of at all costs. But they are prized here in central Tanzania. In fact, they're hero rats, trained to save human lives. They can sniff out landmines. They're currently deployed in Mozambique, where they've now cleared two million square metres, allowing people to return to and work on their land. Next stop, Angola, then on to the Thai-Cambodian border. There are some mines, and uh, the rat has to go and uh, search and find where the mine is laid. And when they sniff and give indication, which is means by scratching, when they scratch, the trainer has to click and reward the animal. After nine months of training, the rats go into the field where they can work for up to six years. They're extremely effective and far cheaper than sniffer dogs. But it's not just landmines that rats can detect, but diseases too. In the laboratory, they run along a specially built tunnel, sniffing samples of human phlegm to detect tuberculosis. Lab technicians can only examine about 40 samples a day, with a detection rate of about 50%. The rats do that in a matter of minutes and have a much higher success rate. Uh, they're better than microscope because they're fast and they, they can even uh, smell a very, very low concentration of MTV, so they're good. The rodents are used as a second line of detection here and they've already sniffed out over one and a half thousand cases that would otherwise have gone untreated. And yet they still have an image problem, one that's undeserved according to the Belgian NGO Apopo, which set up the Hero Rats program. Rats are very sociable, very intelligent, uh, highly likable creatures. When you maintain them well, uh, they don't carry any other diseases like, uh, well, just like your pet cat or pet dog. Huh? Um, they are actually highly, highly lovable creatures. Apopo hopes to train rats to detect other diseases and help in catastrophes like earthquakes by finding trapped people. And despite the fact most humans still squirm at the sight of rats, many already owe their lives to them.